you have to ask questions. You have to widen your horizon. Why do you like uh, Abu is it shine your eyes? Mm -hmm. So I started shining my eyes. So and it gave me that opportunity in the way it is given opportunities to young adults of Nigeria to, be, to have a return, to now show that yes, we have a tradition for adults. Then what do we do? Where are we going to? Are we going to maybe continue in academics? Do we look for government job? Do we set up on our own? based on our own skill and do something for ourselves? Do we keep waiting, looking for white collar job or a blue collar job or red collar job? So that opportunity is very tremendous. It's uncontainable. So it gave me that opportunity, that's why. Then, secondly, the, our passing out time. Then I was still considering that. Will I just go back to that way? Just like this. Hey, hey, hey. After service. It was on that day that we were passing out that I saw an advert. Somebody just called me. We sat together. The guy's name is uh, Akinoye. So he was a graduate of uh, the Polytechnic in Madam. was the one who called me. She be you, sir. And you work with uh, the uh, publication and publicity people. And you are in NYC public affairs. Come now. Come. There is vacancy in the general mm -hmm. That you can just apply. Say, hey. and they say, just continue that line now. So you did well now. You served. That's where you served. That's where I picked it up. And to me, <laughs> I just veered. I've never studied journalism. I just veered to journalism. And today, here I am, Senate spokesperson, several years back. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Senate spokesperson, that media is still knocking on my head, knocking on my soul, knocking on my, on my mind, knocking at me professionally. So, <laughs> so that be, that's there. So, you, I can now say that NYC has done tremendously to propel my life the great heights that I might have reached today. And then that's why I have a kind of a congenia and a, um, ushered me into adulthood. If that strategy had been there, I wouldn't have gotten it very right. I wouldn't have gotten the opportunity of saying that oh, life existed somewhere, mm -hmm. that somebody can even me to go and apply somewhere. I wouldn't have had that one. I would have said, go back to it. And mm -hmm. if they are, they, they are very close to, mm -hmm. to each other, mm -hmm. almost the same culture, the same style, and so on and so forth. And not only that, the, the national orientation, the orientation that the NYC has been built, people like us, and all of that. Because some of us, and so many people today in Nigeria, the majority of the friends they have were the ones they met while serving. Mm -hmm. Majority. And you can just take the statistics. If we have 100 core members in a community, and after their service, only few of them will leave that community. None of them will remain there. They are all members who serve in the community. Two of them leave. And they go there. One of them, oh, and people they like Akara. That's big. Mm. They went into that venture. Today, they are very rich guys in the kitchen. Mm. We call it a caracopa. Mm. Morning, afternoon, evening, they have spices of a cara. And everybody, because they are graduates, mm. they will give, mm. they put a, a fishy, like yeah. our, you know we say, <laughs> they put a fishy there. Mm. So, Touch up, I gotta wait. Touch up, wait, wait. <laughs> so everybody is patronizing them. And they are going higher economically. We didn't make it. They came to make it to South. So several of them are like that. So that's one of those things that somebody like me did, and that people and our young adults are still gaining today. Mm -hmm. They are still gaining today. So that's why I said NYC. I think is the only institution today in Nigeria that anybody can say 